Hello, my name is Ted Lederer, and you're watching another episode of It's All About Art. And today we're in conversation with abstract painter Carolyn Stockbridge at her studio in Chinatown, Vancouver. Carolyn, thank you for uh, inviting us over to your you studio. You are so welcome. It's a pleasure, Ted. Thank you. Now, Carolyn, you have an exhibition coming up at the Elliott Lewis Gallery. Indeed. Uh, the show is from January 4th to the 29th. What's the title of the show? Uh, Grounds for Interpretation. The title is really a follow-up from um, the show that I had as a two-person show at the Elliott Lewis Gallery last January, which was Figure and Ground, and I showed with sculptor Francis Semple, and it was a great combination of work. And so I thought Grounds for Interpretation would not only be a great follow from that, but it also leads into um, the essence of every viewer brings their own point of view and reference when they're looking at abstraction. So when you're painting as an abstract artist, talk to us a little bit about your process. For me, my, my approach is painting is painting. I try to, and it's a huge attempt, when I say try I really mean I try to get rid of the mind mm -hmm. and really be in the moment with that which is really incredibly fulfilling, which is a brush mark. There's, there's a, an energy to it, so I'm really trying to uh, be in touch with the energy of the moment, be very present with my work. Mm. But I want to say with oil, the beauty of when I discovered or was introduced to oil is that it had a life of its own. And so I am engaging really with another my force. Huh. I have the life force of painting, which I am completely committed to, but there's a life force um, and delicacy and beauty in oil of its own, it, and, and it wants to carry itself. And so I, in that respect, I really feel like I am being um, hopefully sensitive enough to allow it to have its own life without me interfering too much. Now, it's obvious to me in seeing your works over the years that color is very important to you. Yes. This particular show has a different color palette than, say, the one you did a year ago. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of subtle pinks. Um, I've been told before that um, pink is something that is, is too quickly associated with, you know, whatever somebody brings to the idea of color pink. Right. For me, it's a, a sense of harmony um, and a very beautiful essence I get with pink, and it becomes really a ground color for me. Uh, the last body of work, I used a lot of white, and I was using white to, to go into an area of the, of the um, canvas and the surface to isolate and edit out mark making that I didn't want to be there, and, uh, using it to, you know, I don't want to say blank out areas of the canvas, because that's not what it was. It was really about selection. It was really about selecting an area of information that I wanted to bring forward. Yeah, well, it's, it is one of the things that I admire about your work, is that they're not overworked. It, it's such a fine line. You get to a point where I get to a point, I can't speak for everybody, um, because there is a sense of realization for everybody that's very different. I try, and I don't want to emphasize try, but you know, it really is about being aware of a balance in, in working, uh, respecting the painting for what it is, knowing that I am there perhaps as maybe the creator but more of a guiding um, contributor I try to let the painting tell me when it's done and if I'm really attuned I, I'm listening and I know it's done. Another thing that I notice about your work and some of this is through conversation and some of it's through visual observation is that there's a painterliness that it's almost like you're celebrating paint. I am it is so luscious, and I have to say, when I started um, studying at the Art Students League in the early 90s uh, with Catherine Redmond, I was very fortunate to study with her, she was a great uh, instructor. I was working in acrylic and charcoal, and things that really suited me at that time, the materials suited me because I had, you know, concerns about where I was rolling up my work and storing it, and I was living in New York where there was not a lot of space where I was living, and you know, those certain things. And also, um, I don't think I'd really stepped into the bravery of oil. So Catherine introduced me to oil and to, into a world that opened up for me. I could not believe the difference. And uh, at that point, I thought, wow, I, I actually have started to paint for the very first time. Huh. Carolyn, is there anything else 
you'd like to tell myself, the viewers, about you, about the upcoming show? Is there anything else? Oh, I'm just so excited to have the show here, my first solo show in Vancouver. And um, I'm just delighted to share with people that really want to come and rejoice with me. It's a big celebration. And kicking off the new year, you know, with with some color and some celebratory uh, things, I think is a wonderful thing to do. And I feel very, very positive about it, and I'm very pleased. Well, the gallery is pleased, and we're honored to have you as an artist that we represent. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us here today. Thank you, Ted. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. My name is Ted Letterer. You're watching It's All About Art, and we've been in conversation with Carolyn Stockbridge, and we hope to see you again very soon. Yeah. Bye for now. See ya.